Hello, my name is Eric Shares. I am an engineering librarian here at Iowa State, and I am also a support person for our LaTeX um, thesis and dissertation template. So when you go to write your thesis or dissertation, you'll um, have a choice of using a kind of an existing template in Microsoft Word, if you're familiar with, with Word already, or LaTeX. Uh, and I'm kind of the person that can help with some common questions with LaTeX. If you don't know what LaTeX is, uh, it's kind of a, uh, it's defined as a document preparation and markup language, which is kind of a fancy way of saying it's, it's a word processor, but also it's a lot more. So it's almost a, a programming language or um, HTML, if you're familiar with HTML. It has some tags kind of sprinkled throughout the text, and I'll show an example of it in a second. This is very commonly used in um, such disciplines as statistics, physics, economics. Uh, many of the engineering programs use LaTeX pretty heavily. And so this may not be uh, applicable to every student, um, but if you are interested in learning uh, more about LaTeX, I am a, a point person and I have a set of resources that can help you get started with it. Um, I also teach a workshop through the library. Those are on pause right now um, as of spring 2020 due to the, uh, I'm sorry, fall 2020 due to the pandemic, but those hopefully will be coming back in the spring of 2021. So I'll show you a, a page um, that has some information about that as well. So I would like to go ahead and share my screen now. Um, so there are many different ways to get up and running in LaTeX. Um, you can, LaTeX is free. Uh, you can download LaTeX and install it on your own machine uh, and get it running that way. I find that to be fairly difficult. And so the way that I choose to, to run it myself and the way that I recommend students get started with it is through a, a program called Overleaf. Uh, Overleaf is uh, kind of an online LaTeX editor and compiler. And Iowa State does uh, currently have a institutional subscription with Overleaf. That means anyone with an Iowa State email address uh, can sign up and get a kind of an upgraded Overleaf account. So to sign up there, you go to overleaf.com slash edu slash IA state. Um, it'll walk you through um, some of the, the details there, how to sign up. We have, uh, you know, 2,400 users at Iowa State. Um, and then when you get into uh, an Overleaf project, this is an example of, of a fairly complicated one that I put together myself. Um, but I, this is to demonstrate some of the power of LaTeX. So you can see LaTeX code is written over here on the left side. We've got this divider bar and then the live output of the PDF will show you uh, on the right hand side. So we can change some things here. So I want to demonstrate what the, you know, the power of LaTeX is I can change one line, right? I've commented out this particular line and I've enabled this two column line. I click this recompile button and Overleaf will go up to the cloud and it'll pull down um, you know, my code and kind of the, the underlying code behind it. It'll um, compile and render. And after a few seconds, you can see that it's changed my entire document on the right-hand side, the 17-page paper that I wrote, into a whole different format just by changing one single line. So instead of document class 12-point uh, article, which defines the um, font size and then article enables some other comments, I've changed that to two column. And now the whole entire paper has been changed to a two column format. You know, and if you were in Word and you had a paper, so it, it changed all my figures, moved everything around for me. Uh, so if you're in Word and you had a single column and you wanted to move it into a, a, a dual column format, maybe a, a journal was requesting that you use the particular format, that might take you a long time. Um, but in LaTeX, kind of the beauty is, all it is is a single line changes and we can go back. Um, and LaTeX will do all the formatting for you. This does require some legwork up front, it requires uh, you know, setting up kind of these specific structures so that LaTeX understands what you're trying to do. But once you have it all, all loaded and ready to go, um, it's, it's very, very fast, very slick, and uh, using Overleaf does make it a lot easier to get started. The Grad College does have quite a few uh, templates, or a few, a few different templates, uh, a couple in Word and a couple in LaTeX. This is an example of uh, the traditional format. So this is a format without a journal paper within your dissertation. And so we've got a nice uh, template up and running there. And that shows some example, uh, table of contents, your overview, your lit review, and so on. So you can go in and start to describe your, uh, your groundbreaking research that you're doing. Um, and to get to there, if you go to the, uh, the Graduate College website, gradcollege.iestate.edu, 
I scroll down and go to current students here in the middle. And then on the right side, thesis dissertation. And then scroll down to templates right here. If you click that, it'll take you to the, the templates page. This is information about the Microsoft Word format. And this is information about the LaTeX format. Okay, so it talks about the Overleaf website. Um, and that's where you'll find those, those templates. Um, and then if you wanted some more information, uh, so I have this uh, LaTeX library guide or libguide we call them. Um, this is the link up here. Uh, and it, it just kind of walks you through uh, some simple LaTeX exercises, ways to get started. Uh, recommends, again, Overleaf. And then um, some additional resources to, to go deeper if you want to. So Overleaf's introduction is very good. The workshop that I teach basically goes through this, uh, this particular introduction from Overleaf. I think that's a, a good um, way to get started. That's the way I learned LaTeX myself. It has some good examples and kind of easy to understand things. Um, and then LaTeX will go as far as you want. If you want to create your own commands and write your own document classes, uh, LaTeX will, will allow you to do that. I don't particularly go that far. Um, but if you really wanted to get into LaTeX, LaTeX would take you as far as you wanted to go. LaTeX will also handle all your references for you. So as you start to write your large thesis or dissertation, um, and you want to start adding references into your paragraphs and then, um, you know, start building your bibliography at the end of your paper, LaTeX can handle all that for you. LaTeX will handle um, the numbering of your graphs, of your figures, your tables. If you decide you don't like figure 3.2 anymore and you take it out, it will automatically renumber everything after that. So figure 3.3 will become the new figure 3.2 uh, and so on. Um, if you want to take out a citation, it'll remove it from the bottom um, bibliography for you. Lots of different uh, ways that the LaTeX can save you a lot of time if you put in a little bit of time up front and kind of learn the, uh, the basic structure of how the program operates. So. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say so far. Again, my name is Eric Shares. I'm a librarian here at Iowa State. Uh, I'm the point person for LaTeX and for the, um, the Overleaf uh, subscription. And there are various ways to get in touch with me. And I think I will be uh, available for a live Q&A during our um, synchronous uh, meeting time. Um, but uh, I look forward to, to hearing from you or uh, taking any recommendations that, uh, that you'd be interested in sharing. So thank you very much.